a little update to our gentleman janitor GJ5 here. Let's talk about a couple of the challenges that we had with this thing. Mainly to do with, uh, well, it really turns out it's more the chimney than anything else. <laughs> and we just finished a heat call. So, currently, we're feeding out of a barrel right on the end of the uh, the bin auger there. Not the bin auger, the, the pot auger. No bin auger involved. But uh, what we thought the problem was, was we were getting a whole bunch of crunching coal noises. And it was actually making the fire dead in uh, basically on the kind of the left side front here it would and basically that's that's from fines getting pushed up into the pot but it turns out that this thing can digest that stuff pretty well the reason it wasn't is because our air adjustment was very low so right now this is one and a half turns out and we were running it at three quarters or a half, sometimes one. The trouble is our chimney is short. <clears throat> this is only about uh, 10 or 11 feet tall. And the, the draft, I, I was thinking it was okay, but it really kind of wasn't. Anytime you got over about three quarters of a turn out on the air adjustment you would start pressurizing the firebox so I had a draft inducer fan that I got from Orby Pepley in the Axman stuff that I bought from him and I don't know it, it was just in there <laughs> with the stuff that I bought and I just stuck it on the shelf and figured I'd never ever use it. So last week I decided well I'll cut a draft inducer sized hole in the uh, stove pipe and stick it in there and see what happens. Well it turns out having more draft was a really good thing for this so <laughs> it's been running like this for a week now and Things are looking much better, as you could see in the fire, that dead spot is gone because we're running more combustion air now. So, um, but before we put the draft inducer fan, we, we went to the, the barrel in a little box that I made for the, the pot auger to stick into. So, since we've been running for a week now with this thing being pretty much running really good I think what we're going to do is pull the barrel off of there and put the, the, the bin auger back on and see how that goes alright we've got the bin auger in there the knuckle joint on here had to do some mods to the doghouse I filled the barrel half full, but we'll see how it goes. Because we're, uh, you know, you don't want to have to dump the barrel out again if there's some kind of feeding problem. But basically, what we're going to look for is you know, whether the the dead spot in front here returns. And I picked up a few bags of some Lehigh anthracite today. And we'll see if that burns any better. Part of the problem, this, this blast jack this year that I got seems to clinker really easily. Even in the van work downstairs, that, that was starting to act weird. Had a lot of grayish, unburnt stuff in the ash. And it, it was clinkering up like this is. 
and I thought, you know, maybe there was something wrong with the van work. So if I fired this up on exactly the same coal, we got exactly the same problem. So I'm thinking that part is the coal, so we'll try it with the, uh, the Lehigh just to confirm. And that'll be that.